Nightfall in Saskatoon and the ice sets in. Temperatures on the rise, but in the breadbasket of the land, winter makes a lasting impression. Tonight, it's all about good first impressions for the fairs on the national stage. In figure skating, it's a difficult thing to do, to be a prime time pair, maybe impossible. Just ask Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison, world championship podium partners who begin a quest to reclaim the Canadian crown tonight. Last year, Annabelle Langlois and Cody Hay took it away. This year, Megan Duhamel and Craig Bunton seem ready to challenge. Now, the short story, as two skaters harness the power of one in Saskatoon. The Credit Union Center is the place. These are the BMO Canadian Figure Skating Championships on CBC. Great pairs tradition in Canada. Underhill Martini, Brasseur Eisler, Sally Feltier. Now, do Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison have that kind of talent? Warming up for the short program are the World Championship bronze medalists. Well, their focus, it is the reclamation of a title. Welcome inside Credit Union Center, and there's our spot over the boards at the end of the arena. Championship figure skating on CBC. Welcome Scott Russell along with Tracy Wilson and Kurt Browning. And Tracy, here's the question, and it's a simple one. Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison have been very good before, but they had only a middling Grand Prix season. Can they get the momentum back? Well, they've got a lot to prove, a lot on the line in this competition. You know, this is a team that are world bronze medalists, the reigning medalists. They failed to make the Grand Prix final, which is the six top point getters on the Grand Prix season. A very big disappointment. So this is about redemption. It's about proving they did deserve that bronze medal. And it's also about getting their title back. And Kurt, are they worthy? Can they put their names in the record books with those other Canadian greats in the pairs? Cool. Well, that's a big list. Um, I'm going to say yes. I, I believe so that they have a certain smoothness and a, and a connection between them that when it's there makes them special. It makes the audience really feel for them and connect with them. It's not, it's a ming, it's, you know, it, it's intangible, but when it's there, it's on. When it's not there, it's missing, you know, and, and they need to be able to capture that more often. Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison, World Championship bronze medalists. They've got to make some progress now in the championship season. And with more on their attempts at that, here's Brenda Irving. Well, Scott, Olympic champion David Pelche, he's acting as kind of a guest coach right now with Jessica and Bryce. And David, if you can tell me, what have you been working on with the pair uh, in the last couple of weeks? Well, they've been strong technically. All the elements are right there where it should be. Finishing anything between the elements, arms going up together, arms going down together, and the connection between them, basically. Where is the tw triple twist right now for them? It's never been as good, and it just keeps getting better. Does this make you want to get out there again? No. <laughs> Enjoy watching. Thank you. Scott. Ah, uh, yes, David Pelche. I understand he's going to do some broadcasting for somebody at some point in time. Listen, Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison, uh, looks like they're the favorites here, but don't count out this pair. Uh, Craig Bunton, he's been a national champion before, and the spark plug is Megan Duhamel. And are they fun to watch? And this is a team that in their very first year together finished sixth at the World Championships. Uh, they yeah, came out amazing. like gangbusters onto the world scene. Very, very exciting. Tons of speed. What they've added now to their repertoire is some um, refinement without losing the excitement. They are going to be tough to beat. They are skating as one. They've really gelled as a team. I know it's cliche, Kurt, but don't you like him? He's awfully gutsy. <laughs> he had to come through rotator cuff surgery. Also, he had his hand cut badly in a Grand Prix event, but soldiered on. Yeah, he's tough. You know, he's tough, and uh, and I think that what's fun about him is that he has uh, a personality that comes through during the, com the competition. They inspire each other, you know, that when one bad thing happens to one, it inspires the other and vice versa, and I think that that relationship is really great. And, um, you know, I, like I said, I wouldn't pay to see him bowl. It's not pretty, <laughs> but he's a great pair skater, really smooth, and I like his stroking on the ice, and I once told him that, and he said, really? And I said, yeah, you're better than you think you are. Oh. Oh yeah, Megan DeHamel and Craig Bunton, they got a shot here at the Canadian Championships in Saskatoon. More than popular in these parts, 
The pride of Wawota, Saskatchewan, about five hours southeast of Saskatoon. Paige Lawrence and Rudy Swiggers still eligible for the Junior World Championships, but trying to make an impression in their own backyard. Skating to Sirtaki, and last year at the Canadian Championships, they finished second, just missing the gold medal at the juniors. Opening here with a very difficult element, triple twist. They competed internationally on the Junior Grand Prix circuit and missed making the Junior Grand Prix final by just one spot. Sounds like they're just on the edge of greatness. Key elements, side-by-side -side jumps. Oh, almost. For the pairs, when they do side-by-side -side triple jumps, if one misses the element, they both pay. If one singles the triple, even if the other partner does the triple, they don't get credit. It's downgraded to a single. And you might assume that missing the jump in this short program would be, you know, death to the rest of your program, but all of the elements matter in short. Sometimes in the singles, other most the jumps get more priority, but not in pairs. It's very equal. Throw triple loop. Oh. Wow, save. Put the other foot down. Lots of height. That was exciting. Crowd loves them. They're coached by Patricia Hole, who's never coached pairs before. So she brought in Lyndon Johnson, a former Canadian champion, world silver medalist. He really likes these two. and Rudy Swiggers. It's pretty sweet in Saskatchewan. Well, welcome to seniors. That's a very big step from the junior level up to the senior level. I liked the way they handled the pressure in terms of their performance. They never forgot their hometown favorites here. I don't think the smile left Rudy's face for the whole program. Even in the mistake, he looked up and smiled. At his, I mean, just unbelievable being able to come up here and soak it all in. And it's in that learning experience, it seems like it's going to go a long way with this team. There's Patricia Hole, and there's Lyndon Johnson, who won a world championship silver medal along with Cindy Landry. 1989. opening with their triple twist and many of the veteran teams play it safe and do double twists catching her a little bit low top pairs in the world he catches catches the woman above the head but well done completed the rotation and not a big bang on the landing but a big bang in the air on this jump watch very very long a little loose in the air you can see her legs and she had to struggle and put down the other foot but you know what 
with the much adrenaline that must have been running through their bodies, they really handled this situation well. Well, Patty said that she tried to get a soundtrack of clapping and to play it on top of their music when they were practicing so they could get used to the distraction of skating in front of an, a hometown audience. He's born in South Africa. She's from Kennedy, Saskatchewan. It was kind of tough to hear, but I, I, was yelling. I was really spotting on it, and I behave. thought I came up to class. It was pretty good. Yeah. I love that. Kind of tough to hear. Biggest crowd they've yeah. played to, for sure. <laughs> wow, that's quite a crowd. Oh. You can say that again. <laughs> it's quite a crowd. You can say that again. You're right. I got so hyped up when they... And the announcers in the, in the war up in the crowd and kids, I was like, oh, jeez. Good job. You didn't handle it. You did really good in the hotel. Good job. Yeah. And actually, you know, you had it. I think we saw them out at the practice rink the other night, and there were fans three deep to watch them. I mean, I'll tell you what, they're very popular. And Kurt, you and I were on a call in radio show here, and everybody wanted to know about Lawrence and Swiggers. Judges now analyzing and reviewing and uh, some of their elements. Their personal best in the short program this season was 47.48. They averaged around 40 points this year. Let's see how they, how they stack up. Wow, they're up over that, Tracy. 49.52. So they're moving up. Paige Lawrence and Rudy Swiegers from right here in Saskatchewan. I wonder if this pair representing Nova Scotia sees an opportunity and maybe an open door. A very opportune time for Milan Brodeur, 21, and John Manitol, 26. They will skate to Chambermaid Swing, and they've had a very decent Grand Prix season, finishing fourth at Skate Canada and Cup of China. But the area that they have struggled in is the short program and have had to pull themselves up with the free skate. of their focus after the Grand Prix season has been on this short program and the finer details as well as the jumps and they will open with side-by-side -side triple toes. Well, that was a fight. Nuleen had a huge lean on hers, pulled too much of the right arm. She wasn't going to let it go. Excellent speed. Easily getting from one end to the other. Double twist. Pairs can do a double or a triple twist. Throw, triple, loop. Well, they were great at Skate Canada in Ottawa. They ignited the crowd with a wonderful free skate. They wound up fourth, but that was certainly their strength. back to Skate Canada, I'm noticing a crispness within their choreography um, and really hitting each note of music very confident within their choreography. Again, their speed has not let down since the beginning of the program. Pretty excited.
exciting lift, but you could see a little bit of wobbling and a little bit of snow, all those things that the judges notice. Coaches, Manon Perron, Richard Gauthier. She's from Saint Jean sur Richelieu, Quebec. He's from Tatamagush, Nova Scotia. Milan Brodeur and John Matador. High hopes of a podium finish here at the Canadian Championships. And Kurt talked about the slickness of the choreography, and their choreographer Julie Marcotte has spent the last couple of months really reworking their technique, and it did show. Excellent expression beginning to end. So many times skaters themselves are so concerned about the throws or the jumps or the spins and it takes somebody else to come in and make them make sure that their priority is also as high on the, on the actual presentation of their program. And then when you nail the jumps and the Ladies spins and, and the lifts, everything else looks better because of the, be the just the good the base of choreography you've given it to sit in. We talked about the pairs short program and all the elements are relatively have the same point value. Even though some look harder than others. <laughs> well, then there's the risk moves, like yeah. the jumps and the throws, and that's really where where you can lose yourself in the short program by major errors there. But, but you know, you just can't let go of, of what looks easy, the spiral. It's the speed, the maintaining of the speed, the matching posture and the position. It all adds up, and the pairs of are notorious for being close. Let's take a look at the side-by-side -side triple toes here. See the speed going in. Now watch Melen getting a little bit forward. Touched down with her hand, but did a nice job of fighting for that and jump. That, that characteristic smile that she has with her always. Coming oh. into the throw here. And what you'll see is the type of throw that's not a big arc. She goes straight across the ice, not very high, so not really one of the most dynamic throws, but quite consistent for them. Oh, yeah, I got rid of the music. Well, getting I set for the like marks. The music after the lift. Everybody's the snap, pretty pumped up right about hand? the short program. Oh, oh, it like, has really been an Achilles late. heel for them in the past. John's dad is big in the figure skating so community in Nova Scotia, and he's a real character. Yeah, hi, Sylvie. Well, they're sitting here waiting now for their scores. Their, their best this season at Ski Canada was just over 50 points. They will easily overtake their season's best here. Oh, yeah. They, they like what's happening here. Roder Matadol, technical 32-21, 23-42 for the program. No deductions at all. 55-63. It is the season's best, and that'll put them in first place and they've got a shot now at the Canadian Championships here in Saskatoon. Cheer up guys. Well the home for both of these skaters is Toronto Ontario Rachel Kirkland and Eric Radford and they're coached by someone with good bloodlines in Paris figure skating Ingo Stoya who also coaches the world champions in Aliona Savchenko and Robin Solkovi. And they will skate to music from the soundtrack, Don Juan DeMarco. When they're training at home in Toronto, they work with Brian Orser and Gislain Brienne. And they will open here with a triple twist. And right into a throw triple loop. Too Just. good. Too good. Too high. side triple toes she was way off on the takeoff enter their 
their first senior Grand Prix event this season. It was at Skate Canada in Ottawa, and they wound up sixth. variation on the entrance by Eric into the death spiral spread eagle switching into the back pivot keeping it low switching hands and important to keep the speed up all the way through nicely done Presenting Central Ontario at a couple of difficult moments in the short program here at the Credit Union Center in Saskatoon. Well, they looked a little tight off the top of uh, off the top of the program, and that's where all their big tricks are. Coming over now to talk to Coach Brian Orser. felt with Rachel that it was almost like the, the music was just a couple of beats faster than she wanted to be. Just sometimes when you're within the competitive environment, the timing seems to go faster and sometimes your mind keeps up to it and sometimes it just doesn't. And especially when you're tense, it's really hard to feel the freedom and let it flow. Here's their triple twist. She's down a little bit low. That's not as well as they can do that element. And perhaps that sets up the tentativeness. Here's the loop that you talked about. Almost too good. Look at the height. Really big and she was leaning outside of that circle. There's an imaginary circle that the skaters jump on and when your shoulders get outside of that, it's really hard to stop the momentum. And she turned before she jumped. I'm in a hurry to get this thing over with. I'm just gonna turn as fast as I can and fortunately it didn't work. And that's a very costly mistake because Rachel was not able to fully rotate that jump. That'll get downgraded to a double and so will Eric. So that's a really, really big is. hit. Um, at yeah, least four is. points on that one element. There's Brian Orser. He's a busy man coaching perhaps the hottest property in women's figure skating right now, South Korea's Yuna Kim. I asked him before this competition, did you get a good break over the Christmas holidays? I had no break at all, he said. I've been busy coaching the whole time. Here are the marks now for Rachel Kirkland and Eric Radford. 28.06 for the technical elements, 22.71 for the program. They have a deduction, 49.77. We'll leave them behind Milan Brodeur and John Matatal representing Nova Scotia. They'll be disappointed with that. But they took the risk with the triple toe and they have to do that. Well, together, they have been courageous throughout this season. Craig Bunton's coming back from injury. And they're still learning all about each other. They haven't been together that long. On the ice, Megan DuHamel representing Quebec. and Craig Bunton. Megan, you have made an impression at the World Championships. They're first together. And now they see a chance to challenge for a national title. Competed twice on the Grand Prix circuit, finishing fourth at Skate America, 
third at the Grand Prix of France, gradually building, and I sure liked what I saw of these two in practice. They've really gelled as a team. Skating to four lamentations. to full speed and only two crossovers clearing across the ice getting ready for the first element double twist only two revolutions in the air but what you lack in rotation they make up in quality side by side jumps triple toes Coming into a throw, triple lutz. Oh. Perfectly timed to the music. Megan's mom and dad, Heidi and Danny, drove two straight days from Northern Ontario to get here. Craig's mom, Jan, is also in the crowd. And they are a partnership with a tremendous upside. Standing ovation and deserved. To have that throw triple that's so late in the program, that's gutsy, exciting. And there was such a feeling of freedom to this performance. Like they didn't really have a care in the world. They were very focused, very determined, but free flowing and easy. When I first, let's have a listen. Oh, wow. <laughs> that whole program, like I felt like we were just like, <laughs> like, I was crying for relax, it just wasn't happening. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it felt that way, but it didn't look that way. <laughs> <laughs> Lively Ontario, Kelowna, BC, and they train in Saint Leonard, Quebec. Megan de Hamel and Craig Bunton. Now they have decided to do a double twist. Other teams opting for the more difficult triple twist. But as Kurt said, what they lack in rotation, they make up in quality. You see how Megan spins right above Craig's head and then he catches her and places her down. A triple twist, though, will probably come in the future next year in time for the games. Watch, Megan. Most skaters would have put that hand down, not her. She has given up too much in her personal life to, to be a partner with Craig and to get this far. And she is a fighter. Now watch this, Lutz. 
way far across the ice, way lifting that free leg high. She's got me so excited, I can't speak. And you know what? <laughs> she actually, the first time that she, uh, when Craig wanted to try it, she said, throw me for a triple lutz. And he said, well, I've never thrown anyone for a triple lutz before. And she said, don't worry, just throw it. I'll <laughs> land it. And she did. It's a great story. One day. Oh, well, Craig's been Canadian champion before with uh, his former partner Valerie Marcou. Like really Tremendously excited about <laughs> this union with Megan De Hamel. And then in the sub, I, or in the pair spin, I started to go, "Oh, is, are we going to be okay?" Because I just felt like so jerky. Well, when you see it, you'll see. None of this. Yeah. Is this the pro? Boy, we could just put a mic on them and the kiss and cry and uh, <laughs> commentate themselves. <laughs> I'm off. High <laughs> levels on all of their elements. Level fours. Spins. Highest level you can get. Spirals. How happy are Season's they? Season's best score. Wow, 65-74. Rockets them into first place. Do Hamill and Bunton. The way it stands now, do Hamill Bunton have the lead over Brodeur Matatal representing Nova Scotia? And the quiet moments before what will surely be a storm of a short Our program for Jessica Dubé and Bryce Hogan. Davison. The world Championship Dubé, bronze medalist. Their talent has always been evident. Their challenge is to make that talent always apparent. It was interesting to hear David's comment. He agreed with me that their connection between them is something that they've been working on. The skating to Cold Plays Fix You, choreographed by David Wilson. Very strong individual skaters will start off with triple sapphire. Uncharacteristic followed by Jess. A new element for them this year, coming up next, it's a triple twist. They came into the season riding a high after their world championship performance in Sweden. Second at Skate Canada. Third at NHK in Tokyo. Just missed the Grand Prix final in Korea. Known as having one of the finest side-by-side -side spins in the world. His low position in the death spiral, getting right down.
Is there talent there? You bet there is. Jessica Dubé and Bryce Davison. This team able to create beautiful moments. That program definitely designed for perfection. Some music that you choose will allow you to make a mistake. But this one won't. It's, it's the kind of program you really have to be perfect. The triple sow cow will be an important decision being made by the judges right now. Did Jessica get all the way around in her rotation? If they decide she did not, it will be deducted down to a double. But I like the quality of the program. Oh, yes. Big mistake at the beginning. They were able to focus on the rest of the program. They kept the levels high. The quality very, very strong. I think that's one of the prettiest spiral sequence I've seen. The gorgeous lines. Now let's take a look at the side-by-side -side jumps, Kurt, and what you were talking about with Jessica. Watch how she comes down. And did she fully rotate it's before she fell? Difficult Hard. to see because Bryce's foot was in the way. But Now, the quality on this lift. Yes, it's difficult, but look at how he covers the ice. She floats in the air. Perfect position. Doesn't that look like it's fun to do? I'd like to be right <laughs> up there. And the speed on the landing, picking yeah, up quality marks. Here's the spiral sequence. Kurt, and often it shows up how unflexible the guy is. I thought they were able to match, make beautiful lines in this. Yeah, if the if camera would have kept going, you would have seen the last position, and they were so close, so close, and that's so hard because the blades get closer too. So any mistake affects your other partner, and both of you go down. So we need to see if she does actually get credit for rotating the triple, but with the fall. And takes a three-point deduction. 62-22 is the total, which will leave them behind Duhamel and Bunton. They lost to them technically, made up some distance, and won artistically. There are the leaders, Craig Bunton, Megan Duhamel, answering questions to the press now, leading the way in the short program. Here's Brenda. Well, other than the mistake early in that program, how would you rate this performance? Well, uh, we had our season's best uh, tonight, and we were happy with the way we skated in general, just the mistake on the sows. Um, good triple twist, good lift. We're pretty happy. A little bit earlier, Kurt Browning said that this music truly is unforgiving, a very difficult to skate to, and uh, doesn't allow for many mistakes. Um, no, for sure. When you're skating to music as fluid as that, it makes it a little harder. When you when you make a mistake, it shows a lot more. Good luck in the free skate later. Thank you. Scott. All right, Brenda, the surprises continue at the BMO Canadian Figure Skating Championships. Megan DeHamel and Craig Bunton find themselves in first place in the Paris competition after the short program. Dubé Davison, the World Championship bronze medalists, are second, three points and more behind, followed by Milan Brodeur and John Matadal representing Nova Scotia. Once again, let's get back to Brenda. Scott, you can tell by the huge smiles on Megan's and Craig's faces that they agreed with the judges that this truly was a season best performance. How did it feel for you? Um, that felt awesome. You know, I wasn't as comfortable, um, Craig and I felt, as we do at home every day. We were just a little bit nervous, but I think that um, every time we took a step, we just tried to relax, and as the program went on, we felt a little bit more into the ice. Well, a couple of weeks ago, you were saying that, that the lifts have never felt better. How did they feel out there tonight? felt great. Um, we, since, since the surgery and since all the rehab and the recovery, uh, the shoulder is now stronger than, than it's been in, in years. And now finally we're able to get the hand out and do the one hand lifts and the exits and everything. And it's, it's liberating, you know, you're not worried about it going into it. Well, Craig, you've already won a Canadian title. What would it mean to win another one with this lady? <laughs> well, that's the goal. And that's, that's the goal we set when we walked in here. Um, Thankfully, I have, and I have that experience, and right now, you know, we're not overly excited saying, oh, we just won, because, I mean, there's a, there's a long program to go. So, I mean, having that experience, I think, is going to help us tomorrow. So, um, it would be it'd be excellent, and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> okay, well, looking forward to it. Scott?